Hello and welcome to my F124 Drive Grimade. We're here at Silverstone for round 6 of the 2024 season. You can see the typical British summertime weather has arrived at Silverstone. We've got a wet qualifying session where we're starting on the full wet tyres. We skip on now to the end of our first lap where we're all over the road coming out of a stove. You can see we've actually got quite a warm turbo as well as now we go through the veil chicane there's absolutely no grip on these wet tyres and there's a dry line starting to appear as we go sideways over the line with a horrible lap and towards the end of the session I thought let's risk it the track was drying let's go on the inters and risk it everyone else has come out onto the full wet tyres and in the first sector alone, we're nearly one and a half seconds up, but we've gone wide. We're trying to foot our way through the traffic on this lap, but then we're blocked by our own teammates. So we decided to back out of it, recharge the battery and go again, find ourselves a gap. And as we skip on to the end of qualifying, our last run, we've gone purple. In the first two sectors, we are five and a half seconds up on our original lap time. We've run a little bit wide there, track limits, a bit questionable there. But as we come into the Veil chicane for the final time, this is going to be a great lap. We've played the strategy in qualifying, we round the final corner, it's another pole position in Formula One. Let's go racing. The home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone and it's time for the British Grand Prix. Silverstone circuit is comprised of 18 corners, 3.6 miles, with DRS detection zones at Village and Maggots. You're overtaking opportunities at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits. You've got to be brave on the throttle in order to succeed here. the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Brown lines up on pole position, and Fernando Alonso completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Hamilton, Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Perez, Stroll, Verstappen, Ricardo, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Norris, Albon, Sainz, Gasly, Ocon, Bottas, Magnussen and Joe Guan Yu. And now it's time to head down to the track. Welcome to the commentary box. I'm Alex Jakes. Delighted to say that we're joined today by Anthony Davidson. Well, there's all sorts of rumors going about in the paddock at the moment, but it looks like they're staying loyal to their team. Good move, do you think? It's easy just to, well, not easy, but it's tempting to just to disappear off to a better team and leave all of that hard work behind you that you've put in place where you are now. But this driver wants to progress with the team. I think that's really nice to see. Here we go then. The formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Oh, we'll soon find out. As the cars make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out, let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one. It will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in the history books. So for the third race in a row, we've put it on the front row. It's our second pole in three races. Can we convert it to a win again? We're racing here at Stilveston. We haven't got the best of starts compared to Fernando Alonso alongside us. Alonso takes the lead into Abbey at the start of the Grand Prix. We're down into P2. Can we get him back though? Heading into 
village. We can't. But the two Mercedes behind us are side by side. The British crowd are loving this. George on the inside, Hamilton on the outside, Hamilton's keeping his foot in, then out side by side as we go up the Wellington Street and towards Brooklyn's Alonso leads. We try and go around the outside of Alonso, we've just ran it wide, but the two Mercedes are still side by side as we go through Nuffield. It's George now on the outside, Hamilton's got his nose ahead, neither of them are backing out of this one as we head towards Cops Corner, it's gone wrong for Lewis here in the past but this time they're both through cleanly, we go off the track again and George keeps his teammate behind for now after being side by side pretty much the entire first sector as we go through Maggots and Beckers and Chapel and now on to the hundred straight, George has got another good run at Atis here, he's pulled away from Hamilton he's going to go to our outside but Lewis Hamilton is looking back at the inside. George now trying to get past this. Alonso has disappeared at the start of of this Grand Prix, the opening lap. We were struggling on the opening lap of this race. And now we run a little bit wide. George Russell is on us now. As we head through village and now onto the Wellington straight once again. Alonso's put out a big gap. Here comes George Russell to the inside of us. George has got us into Brooklyn's now. We try and hold it around the outside. But George has got us, so has Lewis Hamilton. And we may even lose out to the Ferrari here as well. We're struggling on the opening couple of laps. We've lost out to both Mercedes. We've lost out to a Ferrari as well. And maybe the McLaren of Oscar Piastri. We're still side by side with the Ferrari of... Charles Leclerc with Captain behind. Now they're all side by side as we go through Maggots and Beckett's onto the hangar straight now. And Leclerc's got a great run on us. He's already alongside us and he's already ahead of us. Now comes Piastri on the inside. Down to Stone. Both of them have got, it, got us. We've lost four places on this lap. We may lose five now because Max is going round our outside and Max has done us. We've lost five places on lap two of this Grand Prix. We've dropped all the way down to P7 and we may lose more because Lance Stroll's got us round the outside of Abbey. At turn one, we're down into P8. We're dropping like a stone. I think we must have some sort of issue with the engine or damage on the car as we tried to go round the outside. Then we've lost out to the, to the RB. We may lose out to the other McLaren of of Lando Norris, he's not having a good home ground break, but not as bad as us because we are going backwards. I said about that one turbo we had back in qualifying, we didn't replace it, and I think that's really hurting us here. We've got no power essentially going round this track. Lando now on the back of us, we run wide coming out of Chapel. The, the two Mercedes are side by side again, so is Leclerc and Piastri. And Lando has got us now. It's only lap three. We're going back down the inside of Lando. But we're off line a bit now. Is Carlos Sainz going to get us? We've run wide. Sainz is on the outside of us. Into the veil chicane. We keep Sainz behind for now. And he's actually coming under pressure there. From our teammate Alex Albon. There's a big train behind us now. We've dropped from pole position. To P13 in four laps of this legendary track we're going wheel to wheel once again with Carlos Sainz into Brooklyn's but Sainz has got the job done now behind us is Albon it can Albon find a way through on us it's not looking good for us we're dropping like a stone we've got absolutely no pace whether we have damage to the floor of the car or it's the turbo or maybe it's both combined because Albon is through on us going through cops corner now we skip on back onto the hangar straight we go down the hangar straight there's the rb of of sonoda getting past us we gravitate sonoda but there's a big big train behind us it's like the m25 behind us down the inside goes sonoda we hold it around the outside we stay ahead for him for now as we've had a big rubble coming out on the field and now that's going to mean we're a sitting duck but we've kept him behind for now 
going back onto the Hammer Straight. It's only lap five, and we're looking at last place already. Look what you can see. Magnus in there in the background. We defend Sonoda off again. He's dropped back as well. He's lost out to Albon. And someone's had a big lock up there just in front of us. As we go wheel to wheel then with the with the Alpine. And we keep him behind for now. You can see the Ferrari's disappeared up the road. And now the Alpine of Ocon and Sonoda are both side by side. Someone's off the track then. I think that was us. As we go through Cops Corner, there's two cars behind us side by side. We're all over the road trying to keep this behind. Sonoda keeps Ocon behind. They're still side by side. They're in the background. Sonoda now having another go to re-overtake us. And he has. He's passed us finally. And that demotes us down into P14 in this race after we started on pole we were in second place at the end of lap one and by lap six just four laps later we find ourselves in 14th and now 15th potentially as Ocon is having a go at us he's too far back though as we go into village but now down the Wellington straight here they come that both Alpines have got us into Brooklyn. We try and hold it around the outside, but both Alpines are through. We're going to look to try and get the exit off of Luffield, but they're gone. They've gone. And now on the back of us is Nico Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg's got us now round the outside, potentially into Stowe. We keep him behind. But now he's with from wide. He's going to look to do the up and under. He's on the outside. We slam the door firmly shut there going through with the Vale chicane and now lap 8 down towards Abbey the first corner we go Holkenberg's all over the back of us Holkenberg's got a great launch from the side by side of Holkenberg we're just ahead he's going to keep us we've gone wide we're off the track we've lost it we've spun round right in front of Joe we're facing the wrong way at at the loop we're off the track, we're going through the gravel, we have to spin back round the right way and we have to get going again. It's all going wrong in eight laps of this, this Silverstone circuit. We've gone from pole position to stone dead last. Following a spin, you can see that's Hulkenberg's on board. We've actually gone into the side of him, spinning round there. This is Joe's point of view, you can see us go off the track and then spin round, he has nowhere to go. And I don't know whether we went front wing to front wing, but the end of lap eight now, you can see how worn that turbo is. I decided to save the rest of the engine. It's been an embarrassing home ground for me to say the least, I think. We're going to box though. At the end of lap eight, we're going to admit that this race was a failure to the disappointment of the fans. We are going to retire from this British Grand Prix, our first home Grand Prix. We're going to save the engine and retire. Well, they've done a brilliant job, I must say, under some intense pressure to take a well-earned victory here at the British Grand Prix. To do it as a team on home soil, that really means something special. And you can see how much it means to them, the drivers involved as well. Great job by them today, of course, as always. But for the fans watching on too, a great display of teamwork here today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They've performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team.
So that's been your British Grand Prix won by Max Verstappen after being off the top step last time out in Canada. He's back on it. Oscar Piastri is P2. Lando Norris P3 is a double podium for McLaren. For us though, a DNF. Our first DNF of our Formula 1 career and it's back to back poor races as well coming off Canada as well. It was just a bit of a stinker race really. We went from the lead essentially, sat on pole, to last in 8 laps of this track. I think the least said about it, the better. Charles Leclerc also retired from the Grand Prix before we did, whether it was on the same lap or something. Albon was P11, so we didn't even get points today as a team as well. Max Verstappen continues to lead the Drivers' World Championship and he puts himself in a great position because he can win the World Championship next time out in Belgium before we've even had the summer break. Of course, it will be round seven, we've had most of the season, we're only doing a 10 race season. It's got a big margin in the drivers over Lewis Hamilton, but we stay in P10. Piastri has jumped Albon then to P11 and he's not too far behind us now. He's just seven points behind. Down at the back then, there's still four drivers still at score and it's Nico Hülkenberg at the bottom. The constructors then and Red Bull continue to lead the constructors over Mercedes and Ferrari. Then it's Aston Martin, McLaren. We stay then P5. Head of Sauber and RB and Alpine and Haas are still yet to get off the mark this season. So that's been our first British Grand Prix, our first home Grand Prix in Formula 1. It's not one we want to remember but hopefully going into the next race at spa we can get our season back on track we'll see you in spa for the last race before the summer break goodbye